Hello and welcome everyone, Nicholas from Bicycle here and if you have just gotten a brand new bike or you've been experiencing back or knee pain then look no further because in today's video we are going to be showing you how to adjust your saddle height to an optimal starting position. Let's get to it. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced rider, an optimal saddle height can make your riding experience so much better as it not only increases pedaling efficiency and comfort, but also reduces the risk of injury. If you find that your hips keep rocking from side to side while pedaling, or that your knees are too compressed and start to ache while out on a ride, then a saddle height adjustment is called for. The methods used in this video can be done in the comfort of your own home and will help you to achieve a good and optimal starting position, which you can always fine tune further. However, if you are looking for the perfect and most accurate fit, then we suggest you go do a professional bike fitting. If you are readjusting the current saddle height on your bike, then before making any adjustments, measure the distance from the center of the crank to the top of your saddle and note it down. In that way, if you do not like the new position, you can always go back to your old saddle height. The first method is the heel to pedal method and should be done while wearing what you would usually wear on a ride. So if on a road bike, for example, then your bib shorts and your cleats. Start by sitting on your bike while it is mounted on a trainer to get it leveled. Or hold onto a table or wall for a more stable position. Now place your heel on the pedal and pedal backwards until the crank is pointing to 6 o'clock. At this point, your knee should be completely locked out and your heel still on the pedal. If your knee is still bent, then increase the saddle height in small increments until it is locked out. If your heel loses contact with the pedal, then lower the saddle. This method alone will provide you with a good base height to start riding with. However, for a more accurate result, we do suggest you use multiple methods. So here's another one. The Le Mans method derived by Greg Le Mans is one of the most popular methods and involves measuring your inseam. Take off your shoes and place a flat object such as a book between your legs, applying a little pressure to the groin so that it resembles a saddle. Then stand up straight and measure the distance from your crotch, so the top of the book, to the floor. Here you might need some assistance from a cycling buddy or just mark the height on a wall and measure to the ground. Take that measurement and multiply it by 0.883 and that will give you your ideal saddle height. Now on your bike, measure from the center of your crank axle to the top midline of your saddle and adjust accordingly. And there you go. As this method does not take things such as poor flexibility, pedal stack or shoe thickness into consideration, we recommend you set the height five millimeters lower than calculated and make small adjustments from there. Again, checking the height via the heel to pedal method. Once you have found a height you are comfortable with, you can then consider adjusting the saddles fore and aft to avoid further knee issues. Ideally, when pedaling and the crank is pointed in a three o'clock position, your knee should be in line with the pedal spindle. You can check this by dropping a plumb line or a homemade plumb line or meter ruler from the bottom of your knee. Move the saddle forward or backward accordingly until the line or ruler is just in front of the pedal spindle. Lastly, we have the saddle's angle. For further support while riding, we suggest either having the saddle completely level with the floor or the front of the saddle tilted slightly downward but not too much as you will likely keep slipping off the front. Once you have made these adjustments, make sure to recheck the saddle height as this could have slightly affected it. And there you have it. We recommend you don't make all these changes at once, but rather implement them gradually in your cycling routine. There are many factors that may affect a bike fit, so take with a multi-tool on your first couple of rides so that you can make fine adjustments on the go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And until next time, peace.